So following the war and the cleanup operation that was going to happen here in L'Eglise in the summer of 1945, when the US Army engineers came in to remove all of the 135 odd armored vehicles left behind by Kampfgruppe Piper, there were some great photos taken of Tiger 213 as it had been moved from the Veramont farm, which you can see in one of my other videos all about Tiger 213 itself. And then as it was being moved into position here in the village, this first one shows what I believe to be British personnel because there is a Bren gun carrier there in the photo. And if we look at the war memorial here, we can see it clearly in the photo there. But when I was looking at marrying it up, it was clear that actually the memorial has probably been moved at some point because the orientation of that house with the tiger would have had the war memorial over in that corner. So it was, the tiger was actually parked roughly where I'm standing right now. Oh, we can back this up. So you can see that there in the photo, but then we can prove that with this second image because if we look here, you can see that building stood there and okay, because of the heavy bombardment that this place suffered, it has been extensively remodeled, but you've got this building here um, on the left-hand side, which is this building here and then that open path to the front. So it's clear that Tiger 213 was parked here before it was then moved on to its final resting place. We can also clearly say that it is Tiger 213 because in both images, you can see that the barrel has been blown off and it's missing a distinct um, front portion and its muzzle brake. So it's clearly evident that this was Tiger 213 before it was moved into its final position. And then this final image, we can tell that again, it's Tiger 213 and it's being towed into position because you can see the two Shermans dragging it down to where it was finally put here in the village of La Glaze. The really cool thing about this photo though is, I think it was taken from the upstairs building um, of the one in the earlier photo because there we can see the corner of the village war memorial. And it looks like we're looking down onto it. So we can see that there in that bottom left hand corner as the Tiger's being dragged past what was the um, German aid station and then where the museum would finally stand. Just opposite where um, we've got those then and now photos of Tiger 213, we've got the December 44 museum and that building there was the original German aid station. We've got the new build for the December 44 museum just to the other side of it. King Tiger 213 rest in there on its plinth. And then if we come down here, we've got the Maison Maréchal. And it was this building here where a couple of photos were taken by the US after the village was finally liberated and it was being cleared up. So if we look at this first one, there's a M4 Sherman there, probably from the US 3rd Armoured, parked up surrounded by GIs and you can still see that the building retains its original um, structure and to be honest it looks like it wasn't really that badly damaged certainly from this photo and you can see that massive window still present there to this day but then what's really cool is this other photo and we'll just take a walk around here just to get the angle on it So then this photo was taken from approximately here and we can see the German ambulance there as well as what looks like a panther at the very back where the um, outbuilding is today. So this was one that I really wanted to find. We've come up the main street now in La Glaise and that way is the road to Stumont. But here, I've got this great photo of Panther uh, 221, the second company, first battalion of SS Panzer Regiment 1. And it was here in La Glaise as part of Kampfgruppe Piper. It's a really interesting photo. You can clearly see all the camouflage stuff that's, um, all the brush that's all over it. 
but there is a second photo of this tank of 221 and I cannot find it. I've tried to look at all the different perspectives here and I'm just wondering if the houses that were present um, were demolished as a result of the bombing after the um, and the artillery fire that was experienced here during the war and then rebuilt in a completely different style. But fortunately, thanks to that house there, we can clearly see that it was parked up about here. So we can see those um, the gables on the house marry up with that one that's still there. Again, what's really cool about this photo is you're looking at some more of the detail of it. We can see parked up here on the left-hand side of the road, there's an M4 Sherman, there's a USGI, and then there's a Jeep there as well. There's just some great little details of this one photo. So just as we were heading down to the last then and now photo, um, quickly looking back and looking at the buildings revealed something really cool. We're actually able to find this then and now photo. So in the image, one of the identifying points was this like little circular window that I was looking for. And if we look at that building there, you can clearly see that it's still there. Marries up to the window on the left. Okay, the, there's a skylight where the old window used to sit um, and it's not quite in the same shape anymore, but it's definitely there. And then moving across to that white building there, again, it's changed somewhat. It's been um, rendered and painted and the windows though do retain that little arch on them. And then there's the square chimney about one third of the way down the, um, the roof is clearly visible there. And also as well behind this um, big green tractor, we can see the little tip of that building there, which I think must be that building there as well. It's not, not too clear with that tractor park there, but this is definitely the second location where this image was taken. So I'm really, really pleased to find that. That's, uh, that was really good because initially I probably spent about 10 minutes trying to work out the angle and it, all it meant was I needed to walk about 10 meters further down the road and then actually find the spot it was taken. So I'm really chuffed with that. So we've just come down the street now, the main street from where Tiger 221 was photographed and we're the other side of the church from the December 44 Museum. And it was down this road that there is some amazing footage filmed of men from the 504th Parachute Infantry Regiment test firing Panzerfausts at the front of what transpires to be King Tiger 104. Tiger 104 was commanded by Oberschar Führer uh, Josef Franzl, and he formed part of the SS Schwerer Panzerabteilung 501, or SS Heavy Tank Battalion 501 and was part of Kampfgruppe Piper. And when they retreated from the village here, uh, his tank was abandoned. I don't know whether it was abandoned down this street or whether the US engineers moved it into position when the village was finally liberated, but the footage clearly shows his tiger parked up in this position. And what I think is really cool about um, this photo, I believe that tree there is this tree here. Um, I'm no expert when it comes to trees, but it looks like a fairly young tree there. Or, um, and looking at it now, it's that tree is definitely old enough um, to have been there during World War II. So I think it stands a good chance. And then there's this second image that was taken of it after um, the rounds had been fired at it and the test firing had been completed. And we can see it parked up here. And you can see all the impact marks from the shaped charges that hit the glacis plate on the front and the turret on top. Um, but that was definitely taken down here. The only thing that I think has changed these walls on this left-hand side have been remodeled over the years. Um, telegraph poles have been moved, but other than that, it's still basically the same view. And of interest with this photo is, you can clearly see one of the tricks that the US combat engineers did uh, with German armored vehicles, and that was to remove or unscrew and remove the muzzle brake so that any US forces that would then come to this area would know that that tank was um, 
had been decommissioned by the engineers and was safe to safe to pass in front of. So I hope you've enjoyed that short then and now episode around the amazing village that is La Glaise. Um, it's one of my favorite places in Belgium to come and visit and I love um, taking comparison photos whenever I get the chance here. So if you've enjoyed it, I'd love it if you hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Also as well, if you wanna check out the footage of the men from the 504th firing Panzerfaust at that Tiger tank, you can find that on my channel. Um, take a look, it's great footage and you can see all the damage done or not done to the King Tiger there. Okay, I'll see you all in the next one.